Hello and welcome, Paula here. And welcome to Paula's log or plog for short. Now, in this video, I'm going to go over a couple of things. First being Star Wars Conquest and the Path of Darkness series and what's to come. Second will be a quick talk about Floris mod. And lastly, I have a couple of questions about Black Desert Online and I'm looking for some feedback. So if you guys would like to uh, stick around for that or if you're interested in Black Desert Online, please hear me out for that. Anyway, first thing I want to do is thank everyone that's been watching my Path of Darkness series. It has come to an end. If you haven't seen the last video yet, it is in the link in this description. But uh, yeah, we reached the end. It's been a crazy ride. I've had a lot of fun recording it. My only wish was that Star Wars Conquest was a bit more stable. But not to worry, we got there in the end. Now, I've had a lot of requests to do different kinds of series on Star Wars Conquest. Now, normally this is where I would go start up a new game or start up a new mod. But I feel that Star Wars Conquest is quite unique. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I know a lot of you are Star Wars fans as well that visit my channel. So I'm looking to do another series based on Star Wars Conquest. A lot of the feedback has been make a uh, clone trooper. Well, I already had a series called Star Wars Conquest which covered the game and I had a few different characters I had made and had to remake because of various updates and save games become incompatible, that type of thing. And my last proper run that I've done on there, which was actually pretty successful, was a clone trooper with a clone army fighting for the Rebel Alliance. So I don't really want to do that. But I have been thinking about it recently and I've got some ideas on a story I would like to try and tell. It's not going to be a straight up conquest like I've done with Path of Darkness. But yeah, I'm going to incorporate a lot of the ideas people have been asking for and it's going to be a little bit different than what we've done for Path of Darkness. I haven't decided on the name for it yet. Um, Path of Light? Eh, I don't know, we'll see. But um We'll come up with something. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Again, thank you to everyone that's been watching that series. I really do appreciate it. The support is always a huge help. Basically getting me through this, so thank you all. Okay, moving on. Quick talk about Floris. I've, I'm currently at episode 299. Working on episode 300, I was going to look at doing some sort of special video, but honestly, I'm out of ideas. So, I think episode 200, I did a two-hour episode. I don't think it was ever my intention that we would reach 300. So, I'm definitely not doing a three-hour video, sorry. At least not on Floris. Uh, what I'll probably do is... Just make it like an hour long or so and actually do a good showing and actually get something completed. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. And then we'll just keep going on with that till we can reach the end and Swadia is back on top and I can finally put Floris to bed. But, um, yeah. We'll see. If you've got any questions you want to ask, mainly about Floris... Or maybe Bannerlord as well. Just ask them. Either comments in this video or in uh, episode 299. And I will answer them as I play through on uh, episode 300. Anyway. Moving on. Black Desert Online. So this is an MMO that's coming out that I'm quite excited for. And I'm looking at picking it up and giving it a good play. However, the thing is, is that the nature of the game, end game is mostly focused on guild versus guild type, you know, stuff like warring over resource nodes, that type of thing. So guilds are very important. So the question is, do I make a guild or do I join one? Now, I've made guilds in many MMOs and they're never really successful. 
I think I can narrow it down to the fact that I don't have enough time to run them properly. Like, I, I never really ran a guild properly. But I think secondly, it's mostly as well, I don't have enough help as I need to run a guild. Because normally you're able to delegate stuff out and people can, you know, pick up your slack when you're not able to fully focus on something, which I don't tend to have half the time, so... But... Black Desert Online really does look like a really fun game that I should be playing for a good while, so... If there is enough people, enough interest... to have a guild... I will make one, and I will give it my all in making it, su making it successful. But... It all depends if there's enough, you know, if there's a want for it, a need for it. So if you're getting Black Desert Online and you think you'd like to join the guild, if we had one, let me know in the, uh, basically leave a comment telling me. We're looking at going on European servers, so keep that in mind. We will be on a European server. So yeah, that that's, that's it really. That's all I want to hear back is, are you getting Black Desert Online if you're coming on European servers? Are you interested in joining a guild if I set one up? So, please let me know. And I think the alternative is, if there's not enough, uh, if there's not enough people to make a guild, and we'd be better off joining one, then I'll probably just join a guild and let you guys know which one I've gone. So if you want to, you know, come and join it as well, that's fine. So, there's that. So basically it's either we join a guild or I make one, one or the other. But that's it, really, that's all I wanted to know. Anyway guys, that's the end of this uh, Polar Update video, my plug. Thank you for watching, and join me next time.